If you'd like to prevent the formation of new hydradenitis superativa lesions and shrink your existing lesions, decrease the pain, the swelling, and the appearance of your HS lesions, then this is the video you've been looking for. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician with 20 years of clinical practice. And in this video, we're not gonna talk about creams or lotions, prescription medications, over-the-counter medications, herbs, supplements, or any of that. We're gonna dive much deeper. We're gonna talk about the root causes of your HS and what you can do to quiet these two things and drastically improve your HS, maybe by up to 95%. If you go see your doctor about your HS or a dermatologist, all they're gonna to wanna to talk about is prescriptions, injections, and ultimately surgery. None of these things address the root causes of your HS. They only give you cosmetic improvement, temporary improvement. And I know that's not what you're looking for. You're looking for something that's going to reverse the progression of this, make it drastically better, and keep it better. That's what these five tips, based on the two root causes of HS, are going to give you. HS is not caused by good or bad hygiene. It's not an infectious disease, although the lesions can become infected. It, there's nothing wrong with your skin at all. There's nothing wrong with your apocrine glands. HS can be devastating for someone, both for their personal uh, appearance, their, their self-esteem, and their ability to engage in social situations. It can be very isolating. So if you know someone with HS, please consider sharing this video with them. It could transform their life and their ability to live an enjoyable one. The two root causes leading to HS and definitely leading to severe stage three HS is chronic inappropriate inflammation and chronically high levels of insulin in your blood. Once you understand these two and come to terms with this and then start doing your own research about what causes my levels of inflammation to be higher, what causes my levels of insulin to be higher, then you're on the right track to figuring out exactly what you should do to either put your HS into remission or reverse it altogether. There's actually quite a bit of research supporting these five steps that you can take to reverse your HS. And I'm gonna link to these in the show notes down below so that you can continue doing your research, especially if you're disappointed with your doctor or dermatologist current treatment plan. I want you to take a deep breath, blow it out and relax and get ready to hear this. Your HS is due in large part to your diet. If you're eating an improper diet for you personally, then you're gonna experience much more severe flare-ups of your HS and much more frequent flare-ups of your HS. If your intake is improper enough, you're gonna have a continuous chronic progressive worsening of your HS and you'll soon find yourself sitting in the surgeon's office. So chronic inappropriate inflammation and chronically elevated levels of insulin. Let's dig into this. There are known foods that will spike your insulin level after you eat them. And there's another long list of known foods that are delicious, nutritious, very healthy, that don't spike your insulin level whatsoever. That's, that's the insulin story. And my five tips are gonna speak directly to this hyperinsulinemia that you're currently suffering from. Hyperinsulinemia is very intimately connected with high blood pressure, being overweight, having prediabetes or diabetes, having high triglycerides, but you definitely don't have to be overweight. You don't have to have diabetes or have high blood pressure currently to have chronically elevated levels of insulin in your body. The inflammation part. So there are, there's a known list of foods that are very, very inflammatory in nature. They are more inflammatory in some people and less inflammatory in others, but they appear to be inflammatory in all of us nonetheless. Here are the five steps that you can use starting today to begin to reverse the two root causes of your HS and you'll start to notice improvement in just a few days to a few weeks 
And this improvement, as long as you continue to follow these five steps, will be lifelong, okay? This is not just a temporary fix. This is going to re reduce permanently your HS lesions and completely eliminate the formation of new HS lesions. Step number one is you've got to keep your carbohydrate intake on a daily basis under 50 total grams a day. This is going to return your insulin level to a low normal level, which is what you need in order to quiet down your HS flare-ups and progression. Any carbohydrates that you do eat need to be very low glycemic index carbohydrates like dark green veg and the like. You don't need to be eating any under the ground tubers. They're super high in starch, which breaks down immediately into glucose in your body, which immediately spikes your insulin levels. Number two is you need to avoid all foods containing or made with yeast and wheat. Now, some people find that if they extend this to eliminating all grains from their diet, that their HS gets, gets even better. The flare-ups become even less se severe and less often, but definitely there's research showing that if you drink or eat anything made with yeast, and this includes uh, beer and wine and many other alcohols, this includes any bread that, that has yeast to make it rise, Dried fruit is very often covered with yeast. This includes any dried fruit, including raisins, which are dried grapes. And then also anything that includes brewer's yeast. We're actually told that brewer's yeast is a, is a health food. You should add that to your diet. But people with HS find that they have an immediate flare up if they ingest any kind of yeast. Step number three is to avoid all dairy that's less fatty than heavy cream. So avoid all low-fat, fat-free, skim milk products 100% of the time. Even if something's made with whole milk, that's probably still going to contain too much lactose, which is milk sugar, which immediately spikes your blood sugar and therefore spikes your insulin levels. But they are also going to contain a high uh, amount of casein and whey, which are two dairy proteins that in many people are quite inflammatory in nature and make, make, make their HS much worse. Step number four is you gotta stop smoking. Smokers are five times more likely to have HS and five times more likely to have frequent flare-ups of HS. So whether you switch to vaping <clears throat> or you quit altogether, you've gotta get the tobacco smoke out of your mouth and out of your body. And then step number five, there's not a lot of research yet to support this one, but thousands of people with HS have found that if they will eliminate all vegetables from the nightshade family, and you, you can do a quick Google search and find out there's a, it's a pretty long list, uh, but steps one through four, if you have HS, they're mandatory. You've got to do all four of those if you want to to uh, find that one day you're able to stop letting HS dictate your life, dictate what outfits you wear, what events you go to, uh, and just, uh, you know, who you reveal your body to. You will be able to do those things like a normal person if you follow steps one through four. Some people with HS may need to implement step five, eliminating the nightshades as the final fifth step necessary to allow them to live a normal life with very minimal HS symptoms and very, very infrequent flare-ups. Many doctors are not aware of the hyperinsulinemia connection with HS. So when you go to your doctor, ask for two lab tests and they're gonna immediately tell you, are you hyperinsulinemic or not? You're gonna ask for a fasting insulin level and you're going to ask for a C-peptide level. If these two come back elevated, then you're still eating too many carbohydrates for, for your personal biochemistry. You wanna to continue to reduce the carbohydrate intake on a daily basis until you have a normal fasting insulin and a normal C-peptide level. Then that's the amount of carbohydrates that you're going to eat on a daily basis. That's the right amount for you. And you're gonna notice a drastic improvement in your HS symptoms when you do that. There are multiple tests that your doctor can check for chronic levels of inappropriate inflammation. Most doctors are aware of these tests, so you shouldn't have to take the list of them. They should know which ones to check.
Many HS sufferers have just given up all hope of ever living a normal life and not being constantly self-aware of how their body looks. Again, I ask you, please share this video with someone you know who has HS. This could be the key that unlocks the life they've been looking for. If you've already used these five steps or some combination or another step I didn't talk about to reverse and quiet your HS, please put your story in the comments below. It helps people so much to read these comments and to realize, hey, there's hope after all. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.